say good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is the trucker Rudy coming to you this fine morning. Let's take a look. We got 3.38 in the morning right now. Yes, indeed we do. We're just getting ready to get out of here. Yeah, we've had our 10-hour break now, so uh, it's time to hit the road again. Yeah. As you can see, it's pitch dark out there. This truck stop is not open 24-7 either, so... Uh, but anyways, we're going to get our early morning start, like I told you. I'm going to be putting the hammer down pretty steadily here in the next couple of days, so... Uh, I'm going to try and catch up with some of the miles that we have lost, right? But anyways, let's get this day started. I appreciate you guys tuning in, so let's have ourselves a fantastic day together. Let's fasten your seatbelt and let's get on the road. Weekend, 
we had too much time off already this last month I think I only got a uh, about 8,000 miles in this last month that was pretty crappy but what can you do that's the way it is sometimes but it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day the Sun is starting to come up and or has just come up and nice and sunshine now so in one mile keep to the left on Lake Superior Circle Tour oh, there's US a couple two. of guys fishing there already yeah up there on the left there there was a couple of guys fishing down there yeah we might be doing that next weekend although I don't know 100% for sure yet but if we can make it back on time we probably will do that yeah, so anyways, we'll make our way down to Duluth and uh, find out if uh, we can have us a good breakfast there this morning. This time, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be crossing uh, the uh, river the other way than what we normally do. We normally come down this way. Yeah, so now we are going to cross the opposite way. Normally we cross into Wisconsin and now we're going to be crossing into Minnesota. Yeah, there's no big ships up here to the right today though. A lot of times you'll see some big ships right here to the right. Wow, he's got a nice little boat there. Yeah, he's gonna probably going to do some fishing. But yeah, look at this. Now you get a different angle of view of this lake from here, you know. Now you can actually see Duluth on the other side. Normally you only get to see uh, Superior going the other way, right? But yeah. Looks like a beautiful day out here today. Now you can finally actually see the lake. Sometimes it's real foggy and stuff like that up here. So it kind of makes it a little difficult to see stuff. But uh, yeah, right now it's looking good. It definitely is, but yeah, I figured I would show you guys going the other way, you know? You've always Crossing seen me border. crossing the other way. Here we are. Now we are in Minnesota. Yes, indeed we are. And we are going to be meeting up with uh, Scott at a little truck stop here about three miles from now, so... So yeah, we'll definitely... Uh, I need some coffee. <laughs> I need some coffee and a breakfast and and then we'll continue on. Hey good morning guys. Look at this. We're here with Scott. How you doing? Good. Good morning. Yeah, yeah good morning everybody. Yes. Happy 4th of July. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna go right across the street here. We're too lazy to walk. <laughs> We're gonna go for some breakfast, right? I need some coffee. There How you about go. you? You had coffee? Uh, I've had coffee, but yeah? I might have an orange juice today. Yeah? Well, I might have that too. <laughs> <laughs> I need to get some good coffee though. Strong coffee would be nice. But yeah, we're going to go up here to this Perkins, eh? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. Hope they're open already. Oh, Should yeah, be. I think 24 hours. They're 24 hours this place? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, better for us, right? <laughs> Yeah, but anyways, we'll go inside here and have us a good breakfast. Well guys, we told you we were going to go inside and have some breakfast, so let's take a look what we got here. Holy mackerel, look at that. Even got pancakes with that. Those are mine, they're not his. <laughs> <laughs> what are you My having? Off, huh? Yeah, what are you having? Scr uh, scrambled eggs? Scrambled eggs, or yeah, I guess it's scrambled eggs, some sausage, some yeah. fruit, and some toast. Some I mean, orange white. juice, and I've got me a good coffee. Like I told you guys, we need a good, strong coffee. But before this gets cold, let's get to eating. All right, guys, we are done with our breakfast now, so it's time to say goodbye to Scott. Yeah, it was nice yeah. meeting up with you. You too. I'm glad I you stopped. Really hope that you're going to have a good uh, July long weekend. I know that's a special day for you guys. Yeah, and we're, we're going to go have a picnic, I guess. And that's what you're planning on? Yeah. Cool. You want to do any kind of barbecuing? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Probably just hot dogs and hamburgers and brats, but cool. barbecue all the same. So. Yeah. 
For all of you Americans, uh, happy 4th of July. I know yesterday was uh, Canada Day for us, so it was kind of like a special weekend combination for both of our countries. So, yeah. so uh, yeah. happy long weekend, everybody. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend as well. So we will get back on the road. And uh, thanks for uh, meeting up with me, Scott. Thanks for stopping. I yeah. really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for breakfast. And uh, we'll talk with you guys all a little bit later. We have just finished our meeting with Scott, as you guys saw in the previous clip. And here we are, outside of Duluth already. We are back on Highway 2 and just giving her again. Looks like this chicken house up here is closed. We call it a chicken house, but realistically it's called a scale. Yeah, they are locked up today. They've been locked up the last couple of times I've been coming through here, but uh, yeah, they're definitely locked up today again. So that's kind of nice. We don't have to go in there and spend time in there. But yeah, now we got to put the hammer down. Yeah. We'll try and not have any more pit stops today. Until today, uh, at the end of the day, well, I kind of have to stop on the uh, US side border. And the reason being is uh, I have to clear this in transit in bond manifest. So uh, I basically have to stop there at the US side and go inside and get that uh, stamped. Once I can get that stamped, I can get back in and go to the uh, Canadian Customs and then uh, I'll be uh, back in Canada. Yes, indeed. We will only go to Winnipeg today though, but that will be a long enough day for us today already. I think I'll be about 650 miles, if not more. So that will be enough for us today. But remember guys, as soon as we cross that border into Canada, we get an additional two hours that we can drive. So uh, I don't really have to worry too much about my hours as long as I can get to the border within my 11 hour period, right? That's the only thing. But yeah, that's what we gotta do. I've never really done an uh, inbound cancelling at the Pemina border, so don't know exactly how that's going to work out, but we'll find out. We definitely will find out. But anyways, uh, we'll continue on cruising along here and see what else we will be able to show you today. I think we will be going on some highways that we generally don't travel on. Not that I haven't been on it, but it's very rare that I ever go down this highway too, all the way to I-29. And that's kind of what we will be doing today, I think, anyways. But uh, we'll see. I think we'll come out there by Grand Forks. I think that's where we will be coming out on. And so yeah, we might be able to show you some new highway today, or especially for the ones that are new to my channel or newer to my channel you probably will have never seen me travel on this highway too especially westbound and then going to Grand Forks it's very rare that I actually do that so but anyways we'll talk with you guys in a few alrighty guys we are finally across the border they wasted about 45 minutes of my time there at the border but uh, hey we finally got across right so that's all that really matters so uh, so yeah, we are across now and uh, good to go basically. Yeah, the reason why I wasted my time up there was because uh, the uh, dispatch apparently didn't put the seal number on the uh, in uh, inbound sheet there, and so they were giving me a hard time about that. And uh, whatever that happens. I didn't see that the seal number was not on there. I told dispatch they should fill everything out and they uh, they were supposed to have everything on there because I told them, I said, I'm not sure exactly how to fill that out and make sure you guys do it. That way it's supposed to be right. I didn't know that the seal number was supposed to be on there either. I had no clue. Seal number is on the bill of lading, so what more do they want? 
But we finally got out of there, so they were happy, satisfied to stamp my paperwork, and I'm out of there. So here we are, back in Canada, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Canada. Yes, indeed, it's a beautiful day out here. It's a little cloudy, but sun is speaking through, and hardly any wind at all. I mean, it's a little bit of a breeze, but nothing bad. So we're happy, happy campers. We should be uh, in Winnipeg by five o'clock, I think. As earlier than I suspected, so that's awesome news. I bet you my wife is going to be happy. I bet you she will be. Hey guys, we have made it to Winnipeg. Yeah, look at that. We're here with the family. Yeah. What do you say? You a happy girl? Yeah, you're very happy today, eh? What about you? You don't know? Yeah, we're over here at the keg. Yeah, let's see if you guys can see that. Keg steak. Steakhouse and bar. Yeah, we're going to go have us a good steak. You guys know I like steaks, so let's go inside and grab us a good steak. Alrighty, guys, we told you we were going to have a good dinner, so let's take a look. Yes, indeed. Look at that. That's a beautiful steak. We got baked potato. And what you got over there, sweetheart? Uh, pork grits and chicken. Oh, wow. Look at that. So we're going to have us a good bite to eat. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, when you see interesting things, you gotta film it, eh? Oh yeah, look at that, guys. <laughs> yeah, we gotta film that, man. Of course, part of Winnipeg. <laughs> that is hilarious, guys. Of course. <laughs> look at that, he's going in the intersection. <laughs> there he goes. Look at that, this guy, he broke down. <laughs> He didn't make it very far. <laughs> he didn't make it very far. But anyways, we had us a good dinner here at the keg. Yes, indeed. But anyways, we're gonna go back to the truck. So uh, turn left over here. I mean, turn right over here. Yeah, look at that. There's a few trucks over there. But anyways, we had a good, fantastic evening. What do you say? Yeah? Delicious. Delicious, yeah. So, I'm gonna go back to the truck and call it a day. Alrighty, as you guys can see, I am back at the truck again. Yeah. Back home, sweet home again, I guess. I guess for the night anyways. Uh, got to spend a couple of good hours with the family. Yes, indeed I did. I really uh, enjoyed it. Yeah, that was fun. Went to the keg there and had us a good steak basically celebrated our Canada Day up here so yeah that was fun but uh, hey we got to go to bed here pretty soon and uh, get up early tomorrow morning and put another day a big day behind us right so uh, hope you guys liked today's vlog if you did give me a big thumbs up share the video if you wouldn't mind and if you're new to our channel we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button so with that being said We'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy. This was a fantastic day today. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.